the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. It is that within the house, we are so lowered the standard that it's not, you can't recognize Christ in the church. <laughs> right. Yeah, and his spirit is not made manifest among us. I, I keep going back to, uh, is it Corinthians 13? Which is, do I speak with the tongue of angels and of men? Yeah. Or have not? Love. I, yeah, I have become a sounding brass and a tinkling symbol. Yeah. When we look at that particular scripture and what love looks like, you know, how, how it's manifested when it's demonstrated. Who goes after their enemy like that? Wow. Because of love your enemy, man. Ain't <laughs> That's hard. Man. Do it not to think about my enemy, then you know, then not to hate them, you know what I'm saying? And I have evil, malicious, malevolent thoughts toward them. But to go as far as trying to work with a benefit, I don't know. <laughs> and, and I just, and, 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 and again, destroying the flesh is, essential to pull that one off. You're going to have to get you out of the way in order to pull that off. But God tells us to work for the benefit of those who are actually coming against us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, with the, <laughs> when you look at, at, at charity, love, you, and the fruits of the Spirit, right? they're all going outward. Yes. They're not for you know, for for me, they're 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 for everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're for others to experience. Yes, yes. You know, when 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 I'm in line with 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 Christ, these fruits manifest. Yes. Not by my efforts, yes. but by my by giving my will to God. Then these fruits start to manifest, and they're not. Come on particularly for me you at all. they're for this world and 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 though though the fruit is for this world yes i'm being cultivated come out come out i'm being pruned i'm being shaped yes god is is personally tending to me yes that's what he's trying to tell people. I'm talking to you personally to, to, to be a servant. Yeah, to be a servant. And, and, and he's cutting stuff off. That's what pruning means. He cuts stuff away. Yeah. The, the excess, like with the sacrifice in the Old Testament, the excess was cut off. Yes. The extra stuff is just telling you, you, you cut them I in mean, relationships, the law, their ambitions, their aspirations are put aside so that he can get out of you what he needs in order to produce more fruit. Come on. The one thing I looked at, trees don't eat their own fruit. Come on now. Something yeah. else comes along and eat the fruit off of the tree. Wow. And then get that seed inside of them and then here we go again. Yes. So when people come to you, it's normally not to edify you, to uplift you or to strengthen you, it's to get strength from you. Yeah. And so they're going to come impatient. They're going to come overbearing. They're going to come malicious and evil and mean and self-serving. And now we got to let's sit there and allow them to munch off of us because he said, love your enemy. Yes. And you ain't want to be around them. It's like, man, I don't want to deal with these folks. <laughs> but how are you going to minister if you don't? <laughs> how are you going to serve God? Exactly. And think, have this thought in your mind. Think about this for a second. A, where would Cain get his offering from? Besides him trying to do his own thing, you know, he was a till of the ground. Where did he have to go? His brother. Yes. He had to go to his brother. And do you think, what was Abel's job? What do you think it was his job to do? You Do anybody well, think look, that- All I know is Cain had wheat and I knew that those sheep needed wheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, had to go back and forth. Well, he yeah. could. I guess he can go to grazing, right? I mean, the sheep. Yeah, they, they could have grazed. They, they did graze and stuff. But the point was, though, it was Abel's responsibility to tend to those sheep, to do what, to feed the family, and in this case, also provide the offering, yeah. the sacrifices. For the family, meaning, Cain, here you go. 
I, you can see that brother asking. Here you go. You you want you want that one? Which one? You... <laughs> yeah. Cause cause you cause he had to right. Always they have been instructed to. So that's serving. What you saying, Alan? Cause that's you see what I'm saying is one. <laughs> I just think about him taking a brick and this guy in the head with him. <laughs> that ain't funny. Well, what will cross his mind to say I'm gonna kill this guy? <laughs> This dude is just asking him for a sheep. Hey, hey man, can I buy one of your sheep? I give you some grain. Instead <laughs> of going out, bro, he kills the guy. Hey, look, I can see that Abel was probably like, whichever you want, go grab one. <laughs> you want me to go get one for you? <laughs> I said, but I, y'all, huh? somebody help me out with this, the wood. Why did God put a mark upon him so that nobody kill him? I didn't, I didn't understand that. What, what happened? Maybe, maybe that's a whole nother Bible study song, but I'm... But I want to throw something at you on that, is because I think that applies in the modern day time, is you are not supposed to execute the... the uh, you're not supposed to... Why would you... You're not responsible. You have no authority to uh, revenge that death because God took... God gave the punishment to him, right? What is... What does the world do sometimes? Do we think we're supposed to go and and punish somebody for something they did wrong when when it's God's? And I'm talking about this, I ain't talking about the crime or law, breaking laws. I'm just talking about the will of God. If we're going out, do we, are we supposed to go and uh do how would I say, brother? Do we we supposed to go are we supposed to be law enforcers of the word of God? That's the question because the word says we are to be amongst each other, among each other, but not toward this world. Those of this world, we're, we're, that, that that is not our responsibility. That's God's responsibility. Right, right. In other words, you, and also too, you can't, you can't, you can't. If they if they don't want to listen to you, you don't, you don't have no response authority to that. Look, if God ain't gonna make them listen to us, who who are we? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So how how does it play in when it says that if any man shed the blood of man by man his blood shall be shed is that that i know this excludes us or i would accept that that we're not the ones to do it but is that just what it is when we become part of the kingdom that our judgment in that area is taken away from us or are we no i don't think it's taken away you don't both shed innocent blood period right you know and then you, you look at our 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 justice system and i heard someone say something they, they were doing a study about uh the death uh penalty and they said it's not whether these people deserve death the question is do we have the authority to kill them right right that's the question Right, which should be outside. What, do you have to throw it outside the laws of man? Well, in the well, this, it, this, this, this yeah. are, are we we righteous for taking a life? Well, in part of the, uh, the Old Testament, it, it was said that whoever shed man's blood by men, it did blow with shit. Well, it's almost the old king. The whole it, is, it, it, it is, it is, it is. I thought I heard people blood being shed for. You know a whole bunch of stuff. They were stoning. They were gonna stone Jesus. They were. You know, I'm pretty sure blood would have <laughs> would have yeah. flowed. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think that's why he used that parable. I think that's why he used that situation with the woman caught in the act of uh, adultery. Yeah. He was just saying, look, every last one of you got a stone in your hand, and none of you are qualified. And they all walked away because they're qual not qualified. And the question is, when you, if, if you look at your life, you personally, are you, you got all your act together that you can, you can do harm or, or even attack somebody verbally. When you're talking about love your enemy or in, instead of, if you hate them, why? Do you have, do you have, have you met all the standards that you feel righteously to hate somebody? No. I, it's, hate, hate is a. It's a strong word. That's, that's, that's something. It's a very strong word, but it manifested a lot of moments. So we see right. it. You can't is, is it? Even in Bible study, that's that's a that's yeah. a manifestation of hate. 
Cain, yep. Cain, killing Abel. That's a manifestation of hate. When, when said that the heart is deceitful above all things. Yeah, desperate. Yeah, it is. yeah. It's desperately wicked. It's right, right there. Right. You see it. Yeah. That's how. If for no reason, for no good reason, we were saying anyway. Yeah. And men have a tendency to hate men. I mean, we hate each other. There's right. a hatred that's in us. That's boundless. It's it's the the, the heart of man outside yeah. of God, and not allowing God in your heart is is evil. Evil. It's evil. Right. Evil. Matter of fact, I, 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 